Hey there. <laughs> Sound like a ding dong. I heard that, didn't Bill, you? Bill, Wendy, and, and Jonathan. Jonathan and we're going to talk about SOPs. Standard operating procedures. Not to be confused with SOBs. Yeah. <laughs> we got plenty of those. <laughs> uh, it can be an SOB if you don't do your SOB. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And uh, what really made us think about this is because right before we started recording for today, we were in a meeting yeah. with our entire staff talking about everybody had to put together their own standard operating procedure and it's important for several different reasons even if you're just one person in a business right yeah. oh yeah because if something happens to you and someone needs to come in and sit down and do your job for you they need to know where to even start uh, right yeah just yeah think about how would you explain to your four-year-old how to do this and then that's a good starting point <laughs> Hopefully your four-year-old's not your replacement. <laughs> well, yeah, <I> so. <laughs> but like, I guess you make them so granular and so detailed that you know it is literally a step-by-step -step process. It's not like, oh yeah, print out whatever form, and then be like, well, where do I even find that form? That's or, right. So it's very granular. Yeah. yeah. If you want a good outline, look at the back of your shampoo bottle. Yeah, <laughs> rinse and repeat. <laughs> <laughs> Remove tops. Well, and that was in the palm of hand. Yeah. Well, and the other thing I think that that we discover when we go through these is, especially when you've got a, a team like ours, we're we're at what nine or ten people now, mm -hmm. that you don't want to step on each other's toes. You find that maybe something that you're doing, someone else should be doing, or someone, two people are doing the same thing. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Which is d double work. Yeah. By the way, it's really easy to record these things. You don't have to sit down there and type out all these instructions. You can just do an audio recording. You can do a screen capture of your computer if it's something I that like you're doing that. on the computer yeah. Yeah. and narrate it. You can just hold your phone up and record something if you need to. And yes, they're going to be subject to change and you need to update them. But you know, if you're out sick and somebody else in the office needs to do something, you, you know, they need to know how to do it. Yeah. yeah. If, you know, God forbid you step out in front of a bus. Yeah. And it might be a little long recovery period. People, it can't stay in your head. Yeah. It needs to be <laughs> in some sort of a platform. Yeah. yeah. What we, you know, we talk about in, in our in our meetings is, you know, it's a tendency of us of humans to want that security and safety. And if I don't share the details, they need me. I, they need me. And then you know, I tell them that's great. <laughs> I hope you never want a promotion. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Because if we promote you, who's going yeah, to well, replace how, you? How do they know to do what, you know? That's yeah. exactly yeah. right. And I like the idea you said it was all in your head. You know, mm -hmm. back in uh, 2003, when I started lending hard money, it was just me. And it was all in my head. And I thought I knew how to do it all. And well, I did at the time. And I, I didn't have any, you know, notes of what needed to be done next. I knew that this needed to be done and that needed to be done. And, and I was younger. Mm -hmm. So I could hold more in here. Now I can't. Sitting in that meeting, it was really kind of funny for me because, you know, each person is talking about the little things that they're doing. And I'm sitting here going, I don't, I don't know how in the world it, that I didn't even know all this stuff was getting done. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. All the little details that are in there. In fact, I got a little bit nervous too, because we've got this new program, this, this TMO that's coming online. I have no idea how to work. And I thought to myself, should I know? Should I stop and learn how to no. work this? Am I ever going to really need it? You know, <laughs> got a little no. nervous about that. No, I, I don't have time Just for that, but I'm glad there are other people but, who but do But there's that. an SOP on it. That's right. If you ever want to learn. That's exactly right. And that's <laughs> a great way to look report. at it. Yeah. yeah. B bottom line is if you're a, a one person shop or, you know, 25, mm -hmm. you need to have SOPs in place. If you're a one person shop and you want to expand, do you want to spend all your time training the person you're bringing in? Or could you just sit them at a computer? And say, or Here, watch if these. you go through people having to retrain yeah. the, the if same stuff. you have a virtual stuff. assistant. Exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's easy for them just to log on and go through the videos and, and, and understand it. Yeah, it creates scalability yeah. using, using, utilizing virtual assistants immediately. Mm -hmm. They can just go in, watch it, read it, whatever it is, and take off with it. That's right. And virtual assistants, I think it's really important to understand what it is you're telling them to do. I know a lot of people that have virtual assistants. We've had them on and off, you know, with the needs that we've had. And I think the biggest mistake most people make when they say, oh, I don't really like having virtual assistants. The problem is, is they haven't trained them right. Oh, exactly. Because it's, you know, it's a great asset to have one or two or 10, 
but you've got to really train them on what it is that you do. So if you already have these standard operating procedures already set up, whether they're on paper or on video, it's something you just give that person and, and they pick it right up. Right. And you know? they're always going to ask a few questions, but if they have the, the basics down and you have that there, it's not taking up as much of your time. And if they can continue to review it as well. If they, mm -hmm. And improve on it. Right. Yeah. And, and think about the, the nice sleep that you get as a business owner, knowing <laughs> that your company is profitable, not because of accidents. Right. <laughs> There's actual Oops, systems and money. processes. <laughs> like, oh, wow, we actually made money. You know, and we overlooked all this, this, and this. You know. That's right. And, and so here's a standard operating procedure I'd like to share with everyone. Uh -oh. It's currently 1054 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And my SOP is, this is the time I start to eat lunch. <laughs> I start with two slices of pizza. Anyway. He thank works you so out much. every day, so he can do that, right? Thank you so much for joining us. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to share and like and subscribe. And eat your pizza. Carolina Capital Management <laughs> is the name of our business. And carolinahardmoney.com for more information. And if you want a bigger slice, SOPs. That's right. <laughs> Very well. Get into detail. Very That's well good. done. All right. Have a great day. <laughs>